am on this path, what I call becoming a earth spirit guide, because we as spirit guides have two missions. And again, we will get into that because that's a whole conversation on its own. But I have became one, I've become one of those people who I'm not much of a complainer. I, you know, I don't keep grudges. I forgive people and move on. I give people the benefit of the doubt, sometimes too many times. <laughs> and like, because I could see, I could see the hurt, I could see the trauma. I could see the disconnect and like Jesus once said, you know, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. And that is true. They have not realized why they're here and what their mission is why they're here. So my question to you, do you know why you're here? Do you know what your mission is? Do you know what your soul came here to accomplish? Are you aware that once you figure that out and you can align with your soul's mission, that all the answers will come to you? Step by step by step, it just unravels and it starts making so much sense. So the question you should always ask yourself is why? Why am I here? What is my mission? What does Source, God, Universe wants me to do while I'm here? You see, when I wrote my first, my thesis for my master's degree, it was based on thinking. And it was, it was based on Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, The Science of Getting Rich, Wallace D. Waddles, As a Man Think It. Uh, like all of them, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Michael Peckwick, uh, all of them, all of the teachings, and remember, they wrote these books a hundred years ago, but the teachings were all the same. Man does not think for themselves anymore. When we gave up thinking, we gave up our independence. We allow others to think for us. In the evolution of the human potential, we got to this space where we did ask the question, why are we here? And what are we supposed to do? But we gave it up to the science department. And the science department says, we are going to do everything we can to figure out why we're here. What's this universe thing? What's this infinite thing? And while we do that, you guys go about living your own life. So we got into the industrial era. And the industrial area is about uh, economy. It's about uh money and business and you know living a comfortable life this is when comfort became very um comfort was part of that getting the nice house and the nice car and the appliances and if you go back to the commercials from the 50s and 60s when they started coming out with the refrigerator and then the air conditioning so we we got caught up in the the mundane into this in this life into making our life comfortable and we kind of gave up the spiritual part of our existence but we're coming back to that space we're coming back to the space of okay now that we have the time because the whole part the whole point of the evolution of humanity is to get us to a place where we have time time to go inwards, time to meditate, time to commune with our higher self, time to create more positive positivity in this world, more love, more honesty, more harmony, ease, getting rid all of the getting rid of the negative 
stuff, the envy, the anger, the hatred, the war, the, we need to shift perspective, but in here first, not out there first. It needs to start here. So the evolution part of humanity and, and, and our experiences is so that we eventually come to that point that we have the time that we could go in. As long as we are struggling, because we live, most of us are in a state of constant panic, constant survival mode, constant like feeling like we're drowning because it's about making the money, paying the bills, keeping up with the Jonases. It's this constant go, 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 go. There's no time to be still, to be quiet, to be at ease. And we need to work towards finding that space. Because once you realize that that's all you need, that 20 minutes in the morning of meditation changes your whole day. And I can't stress enough how true that is. It slows down time. It gives you clarity. It gives you direction. You get information like I used to get from my angel. Um, I now understand that that was intuition as well. My intuition kicked in at a very young age and I listened and I followed and every single step brought me to this very specific place. And, you know, like I said, I've been in so many other stuff, but at some point I realized because the message I was waiting for was, hey, Karina, remember that pact we made when you were a little kid? This is it. And I thought, oh, there isn't a specific it. My whole life journey is the path, my life of experience, of the traumas I went through, the broken hearts, the disappointments, the friendships, the yeah, all of that is the pact we made. And the whole point is so that at this moment, I could sit right here and share that life experience with you, hoping, wishing that I can reach you where you need to be at this moment, that whatever that is that you need, that there are people out there exactly where you're at, maybe a step ahead, maybe a step behind. We are all teachers and students at the same time. We're constantly learning and passing the knowledge on and learning more. And then, so we're always between being a teacher and a student. And when we stop learning, when we stop creating, when we stop adding on more knowledge, more wisdom, more understanding, uh, we stop our own growth. And when we stop our growth, it doesn't just stop our spiritual growth. It stops everything. It stops prosperity. It stops abundance. It stops your amazing relationship with, with any and everyone. Connecting, finding time, finding that peace always starts internally. There's no other way, as much as we would love it to not be this way. When we ask why, why is this happening and why, it is very important to go in and ask, why am I attracting that? What is it that I'm thinking, feeling, or wanting or lacking that is making me manifest what's happening out there. Out there is like a projection. 
the movie projector is in here. But if we put the wrong movie in, it's going to project a whole different story out there. So it all goes back again, mind mastery. It's not just about controlling your mind, it's about understanding how by going in, finding, better said, listening to what that mind and voice that constantly talking in our heads, what is it saying? And are you acknowledging it or are you negating it? You see, that's the difference. That's where the difference shows up when you are not aware of what your mind is saying. When your mind is creating or your conscious mind is making up its own stories and whatever happens on the outside and you're thinking, well, why would I ask for something like that? Why would I want something bad to happen to me or to someone I love? But subconsciously, we are thinking certain things, maybe from a message we heard from someone else or something, a living in that constant fear. You know, we all grew up with be careful when you go outside, no, watch, watch this and watch. We're constantly being fed a lot of watch out, be careful, don't, you know, even for me, you know, when my kids are walking out the door, mom, we're leaving. There's that initial habit, because the only word I can use, to say, oh, be careful, drive safe, because that's what my mom used to say to me. And I have to stop myself and say, have a great time, sending you love and blessings, and send them a way of energy, positive protection. Of manifesting negativity in their life because our words are so damn powerful so we have to be very careful of how we're using our words and when we're not paying attention to what our mind is thinking it comes out over and over again and we're so unaware of what we're thinking and and i'm and i'm hoping with this channel with this uh, metaphysic teachings that I can slowly break down some of these modalities, habits, um, trauma, fears that are so deeply ingrained in us and how we can slowly release them, get rid of them and finally find that peace and and ease and comfort and of course follows prosperity abundance amazing relationships it all starts from the premise of understanding what you are manifesting based on what you're thinking and what you're saying so i want to also share um with you guys a affirmation so that you can take this with you this week and it's very simple affirmation i would uh, guide you to say it in your mind over and over again almost like like readjusting your subconscious mind to believe it you have to believe this and get deeper into it and this is what it says. The God power within me is greater than any fear, doubt, or insecurity that may keeping me stuck from achieving my greatness. And so it is. And I want to read it one more time. And I want you to really pay attention. The word that says the God power within me is greater it says greater greater than any fear doubt or insecurity that may be keeping me stuck from achieving my greatness and then you end it with so it is and so it is we say affirmations 
to as to affirm that it is already done not in the future or i want peace and i want no it is done from the minute you say it it's already done because we live in the now now is all we have so affirm again let's do that one more time affirm like really honestly take it in and say the god power within me is greater than any fear doubt or insecurity that may be keeping me stuck from achieving my greatness and so it is and so it is and so it is so after this if you haven't um seen any of my posting anywhere and you just kind of joining in here i will have a ongoing conversation if you're interested in joining me uh, um, and it's called the transform workshop and in these workshops we will dive a little deeper into the metaphysical principles to help in business and in life to help you slowly start shifting into receiving all your God-given gifts that belongs to you, that is yours, you've earned it. You came here with it. Now all you have to do is claim it, just ask for it and receive it. And if you have not receiving it, it's because there's a little glitch somewhere in there and we gotta get rid of that glitch. We gotta get it out of there, whatever that fear, that insecurity, whatever, habits whatever teachings we got generational from our parents or church or government whatever that is we need to start thinking for ourselves. we need to seek our own healing we need to seek our own wellness our own well-being and i will be using these workshops um, i will also be inviting um, artistic guests i'm calling them artistic because to me anyone with a creative mind that is creating to help us move in this journey towards self-fulfillment, our artist, we're all artists. So I will be inviting some uh, guest artists to create part, to be part of the workshops. So once you join this group, um, actually, you know what? Maybe join my community, my community called the Aphidian Society. Um, is a group of like-minded people where we come together to mastermind, to commune, to share ideas, to get feedback, to, um, if this is not our networking, this is not promoting an event, this is true, honest communion, communication, sharing, learning, and growing together as, 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 a, as a group towards this movement of advancing the evolution of human potential because we have so much potential and we have allowed it to sit in someone else's power and we should not allow anyone else to be in power of what is ours. So if you would like to join the community, just go to karinagfelix.com slash transform and all the information there for the community is there as well for the workshop. The workshop is free for our members that's already on and for our members you could find it in our school community group it's in the the text there and for anyone else you can go to the website and join us right after this at 12 o'clock we will be starting with the workshop in zoom so get your link and um i look forward to seeing you next week and um Please comment and let me know uh, if there's anything that you would like to share or an experience that you've had that you believe will, um, you know, make, here, let me just put this so you could see that. So yes, so that's the community, Aphidian Society, a community forging global impact, KarinaGFelix.com. Uh, you could go there and get all additional information about the community, about the workshops, and about all of the future events that we will be having. If you are actually living in South Florida, every third Thursday of the month, we meet in downtown West Palm Beach. And again, it's just to commune, meet people one-on-one, -on -one, have great conversations, share our life stories and our journey. And again, all of that information is on my website. 
um, I will try to add it to the YouTube description once I upload this to YouTube. And um, looking forward to hearing from you, your feedback, your comments. And I thank you for your time. I send you with love, with blessings, healing, and ease and peace. And thank you very much for this opportunity. May God bless you. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to my channel Dr. Karina Felix for more videos.